Hi, everybody. Welcome to All Games New and Old. I'm David Rodriguez. I'm Hilary Rodriguez. And today we are going to be reviewing Alter Realm of the Gods. This game was published by The Red Joker in 2024. And I'm going to have to read these names because I'm going to mess them up. Uh, it's designed by Vasila Petrullius. And the art is by Nicholas Jame and Elena Ignatenko. I'm probably still missing them up, but that's as good <laughs> as I can get. Close. Yeah, close <laughs> enough. That's all I can really do. It's a two to five player game and it's supposed to play in 30 minutes. I think we were closer to about 45 minutes each time we played it. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, we do the whole analysis process thing a bit. So yeah. you might have better luck. I don't know. So in this game, there's a lot of history about like gods ascending and then mankind falling. And now we're, gods are back again. And we're trying to become like you're trying to become like the, the preeminent, most powerful god, essentially. So you're all gods battling it out with each other, basically. Yeah. That's the deal. So you're building shrines and altars, getting your worshippers up in a frenzy and, you know, making sure those other nasty worshippers are put down. Basically, it's not very nice. It's not very nice. What's with these gods? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that, that's the basic gist, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's go to art and components. So the artwork is really well done in this game. They use two different artists, uh, one for the cards and one for the player boards. Um, my personal taste, I like the artwork on the cards better than the player boards, um, but they're both done really well. Mm. Yeah, I do too, but I mean, it's yeah, it's just a little bit different style, but it's still, it works okay together, mm -hmm. strangely. But like, I think that the, the cards on the player boards with like the god, the gods in their realms, it looks very uh, comic book style to me. Whereas the other ones look more um, like painted or, or maybe even just like like digital art, not AI art. I'm not saying that it's better than that, but you know, like it's it's um, much more smooth lined, looks more almost almost photographic. Yeah, it looks a a, more like finished versus gritty art. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I yeah I I mean it's definitely what drew me to the game in the first place, but um, man, every single card, uh, every single picture in this game is. Uh, just amazing to me. Like I, I'm wild by the art every time I see it. Mm -hmm. um, for the components, um, the player boards are a nice thick cardstock. Um, the cards are a little bit on the thinner side, but you're not shuffling them a ton. You're basically just shuffled them at the very beginning of the game, and that's it. So um, they're still going to last a long time. The tokens are made out of the same cardstock as the player boards. Um, the thing that we really like a lot is actually the box itself. Mm -hmm. It has a nice magnetic opening to it and then it actually has some uh, information in, on the inside that you can use as kind of a player guide. So yeah, it's it's super cool. Uh, I got the Kickstarter version and because of that, they sent me a player mat. When they sent me the player mat, it was separate from everything else and it didn't say anything about what game it was for. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what this belongs to. Like, there's no signifiers on it. And then finally, I figured, oh, it's this game. And then we went to play it, and then I couldn't find the mat anymore. <laughs> so we didn't use the mat. Uh, so <laughs> that's it was a very thin mat. It was fine. It, you don't need it. It's fine to just play this on the table. It yeah. works. It's not. It's not a big deal whatsoever. Yeah. Um, one small gripe that I do have about the components is on the player board itself. It's just an iconography uh, issue for myself. Um, so there's um, spots on the side to put altars and shrines. Um, and there's basically four square spots that look like the altar pieces and then one circle spot for the shrine. And you have to have one shrine and basically two altars. And then the other two spots could be shrines or altars. And but it's not it doesn't show that on the player board. And it'd be nice if they just had like uh, like both symbols or both shapes on there just so that it was a little bit easier to tell that you could use it as either spot. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, it's not a super big deal because it's not that complicated a game, but like, especially when you're first learning it, like it'd be nice to just have something on there that's like, oh, this is either or. Mm -hmm. um, just it helps remember that rule. Just a little thing. And I don't think it, it wouldn't add cost to this at all. No, it would just be a different yeah. design when they were doing the... Yeah. layout so. now i do want to go back to the art for a minute so it it kind of reminds me of old like conan the barbarian kind of art like uh all the guys are like super muscly and serious looking and the women um 
Also, look, not not talking about the women who are usually like crawling around near Conan's feet because that was all very sexist, but um, like more like the badass type, um, uh, but still not super super heavily clothed. They're not wearing their winter coats, you know what I mean? But what were you like? Did you, did you think it was like overly sexy? Was it just kind of like? I, what were your thoughts on? Um, that? not really. Like it. It does. There are a few cards that kind of push it. A, push the envelope a little bit without going completely over. Um, this is still a game that I would feel comfortable pulling, pulling out at a convention. Um, there's some games that we've had where the artwork, I'm like, I don't yeah. know if I'd want like a little kid walking by us playing this game. So um, this one, is, you know, like there's going to be some people that probably will take offense to some of the artwork in this game. Um, but I don't think it's so over the top that a lot of people will. You know, a lot of times people will have issues with either the with the clothing and the poses. The poses are, I think, pretty, t pretty tame. Um, mm. It's really just the clothing that some of them are wearing. Um, so um, but it's still not over overly done, um, but it is just kind of something to be aware of. Yeah, so. yeah, that, that was kind of my take too, but I'm also a guy, so, you know, <laughs> whatever. I mean, I think the women look like they're still tough. Like, I don't like, I know they're not wearing. That has nothing to do with. <laughs> I'm a guy. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. Okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. Everything's fine. You heard it from her. <laughs> Listen to her advice. <laughs> I, I'm just a guy. <laughs> All right, so we kind of cover the theme at the top. Um, the ba gods are battling to see who's the biggest, baddest of them all, the main major god. That's what it is. So, you know, the core game, you get sort of their own um, kind of made up pantheon, like it's the god of war, or, like it doesn't have a specific name. There are expansions that will cover like the Greek gods, the Egyptian gods, Norse gods, and Cthulhu mythos stuff. Uh, those are all a little different. And, um, I don't know if it's because they wanted to keep it thematic or what, but you cannot mix expansions. Um, so you can't have like Cthulhu going against Hades or whatever. Um, I, I, I'm guessing, I, I think probably more it's that maybe for some reason they don't balance well against each other. I don't know. Um, it could be balanced. It could be the followers that come with each maybe, expansion. Well, but those just really have, I mean, except for the one, there's there's one that's kind of a little different that changes some rules, but the other ones are just like seven gods and that's it and use the same followers. Oh, so okay. yeah, I, I don't know. It's weird. Um, I think it's kind of a bummer because I would like to, I think it'd be more fun to mix yeah. the different pantheons, but for whatever reason you can't, which I suppose help keeps it be thematic. Um, some of the cards, I think, you know, what they do in the game kind of matches what their um, their character is, you know, like yeah. the, the warrior is very kind of attacky and there's like a, um, a seer or something that lets you like look at the draw pile, something mm -hmm. like that. So that kind of makes sense. Um, did you did you did you feel the theme a lot in this game? Um. A little bit, um, yeah, it's the characters in the cards definitely kind of help bring a, the theme in a little bit where I get gets a little lost to me on is like the power of the gods mm -hmm. don't always seem to like match what the god was or like yeah. pull, pull into the theme to me. Yeah. But, and the god's powers, I mean, I just... I, broad strokes it's like oh well this this god makes these particular cards more powerful or they're immune to this kind of attack or what have you mm -hmm. um i don't feel I, there are differences but i don't feel like there's a strong difference picking one god to the next very much like little things here and there but yeah i think as far as picking the gods out it's gonna just kind of depend on how how you play mm. Um, cause like there's, um, yeah, like there's the age, like in the base set, there's the ancient God that always goes first. Mm -hmm. There's, uh, I think it's the love God. Like she always goes last or loses to 
yeah, like, so in this game, you can have ties. And so, like, the ancient god always win ties and the goddess of love always loses ties or some, something or might be yeah. vice versa, but something like that. The god of war, the warriors are stronger. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, blood god, she only needs two powers to do a shrine. So, you know, like, it's, to me, it's more picking, like, Finding the tricks that work with that god and right. seeing if you can play yeah. off those tricks well or not. Um, if you can kind of figure unlock the how to play that god the best, then that it it does kind of alter it a little bit. But I th I think they're still balanced. I th so I think it's really just the way your mind can kind of click with the gods. So. Yeah. I mean, it would be cool, although way expensive in an unnecessary way, if, you know, like each expansion had at least cards that replace some of the cards. So that way your fanatic for their pantheon doesn't look exactly the same as a fanatic for the Greek gods, who looks the same as a fanatic for the Cthulhu gods. Looks the same, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. if they had like more of a flavor to them that matched whatever that background is. But then again, you're paying extra money for the same yeah. and art is expensive and art's amazing. So um, does it really make sense? But that would help the theme. I don't know if overall it'd actually be worth it to do that, but yeah. you know, it's a thing. So overall, I do like, I do like this game. Um, I appreciate that they give special rules for playing as a two player game versus uh, three, th three to five um since it is kind of a battle game like it's you have to have a little bit more of a balance when you're playing these kind of games as a two player um sometimes a lot of these games don't have special two player rules and so we have to kind of either make up our own or try and figure out a way for us to each play as two characters to get a good feel of that um which we did do in this game so we did play it by the regular two player rules and then we played basically as four players with each of us having two separate gods that we played as. Um, that being said, <laughs> um, some of the two player rules are a little confusing and some of the cards don't, like there's not clarification on cards when you're playing as two players. Yeah. So sometimes there's confusion as like, okay, like, uh, you know, each god does this. Does that mean that I'm having to do that like, if I'm playing that card, do I have to do that for my other god? Or does it just, it, is it like, I'm kind of considered one god and he's kind of considered one god? Or, so it gets a little bit confusing on the two players. Um, and there's not a lot of clarification on some of those rules and cards. Yeah. Um, so overall, gameplay wise, I actually thought it was funner at four players instead of yeah. the two players as well. And I think that was a big part of it. Yeah, I really think they meant for this to be a higher player count game. And they're like, well, let's figure out a way to make it work for two players. And so they did and it works. Um, but yeah, you know, they, they, there's a few things they tried to specify in the rule book about, you know, when it's two players, this works this way. But there's still a bunch of cards where it's like, well, that seems similar to the ones they specifically point out, but it doesn't work that way. Like um, it needs more clarification on some of these things for two players. Uh, there's uh, one rule on uh, there's there's an expansion that just kind of adds to like the base game. Uh, we had to look up online what the uh, one of the powers of the blood goddess meant. It was like um, like building mass altars or something. I don't remember. But um, there's nothing in the rule book that explains that or in the expanded rule book that explains that. So it's like we're talking about, well, could it mean this? We could play it this way. I don't know, which is what we had to do a lot of the two player games. Like, well, this seems the most fair. So this is how we'll do it. But we had to look online to like get that explained. So, yeah, there, there's missing stuff in the rules. I think base game, three or more players, I don't think you're having any problems. Like it's it's very playable, but it's when they start in introducing kind of the quirky things, either with that expansion or with the two player things where um, they just didn't cover everything that I think that they needed to, mm -hmm. to make it work out. Um, it's a very light game, I think. Yeah. Uh, not complicated at all. I mean, <sighs> I hesitate. I almost would say that it may be kind of similar to like how a lot of collectible card games feel, but like a lot lighter than those in a way. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's not quite right, but 
you know, you're, you're getting your hand of cards, you're attacking, you're drawing new ones every turn. Um, there's a lot of attacking back and forth, mm -hmm. which, you know, you can have some of your progress undone. But because the game is so short, uh, that doesn't really bother me as much as if it yeah. was like a really long game. Like, oh, well, you destroyed two of my shrines. That's like, you know, two thirds or two fifths of what I need to win. But it's also like, well, th this game is not three hours long. <laughs> so it's not like you've been done like an hour worth of work. It's not that big a deal. If you hate all meanness in a game, this might not be for you, but it's not a game for you if you yeah. don't like meanness. But, but it is really short. I mean, yeah. like for me, like I don't like a super mean game, but like this is kind of like, well, yeah, it's fine. No, but it is a game where you're attacking your mm, opponents yeah. and that's the whole basis yeah. of the game. So yeah, you are going to have some of your progress undone. Uh, that's what a lot of the cards that attack mm -hmm. do. They're going to take your cards or they're going to undo your shrines or all kinds of things. So yeah, if you can't, if you do not like that kind of interaction, it's it's loaded with it's it's necessary in the game like you if you try to be nicey nice i think you're just gonna <laughs> lose <laughs> or so many of the cards are not gonna be worthwhile that it just doesn't make sense yeah. so all right so final score time uh here we have a score rating from one to ten i think sometimes i've said zero to ten we haven't rated anything a zero or a one. So, so far it hasn't come up that we need to be specific. Let's say one today. Uh, if it's a one, it is a game that is basically not functional or it is so, it makes us so angry or sad that we would not inflict that on anybody. If it's a five, it's perfectly middle of the road, totally average, take it or leave it kind of game. If it's a 10, it is either perfect or it's so good that whatever flaws it has doesn't even matter because of how much the good stuff uh, is good. Basically. So yeah. where are you at with this one? Um, so this one, I'm going to give uh, two scores for it. Um, I'm going to give a score, a two player count and a higher player count. Okay. So um, for the two player count, I'm going to give it a six. Um, I do think it's still a fun game, but there are frustrations with not having the clarifications on the cards on how it should be played on mm. two players. So um, at a higher player count, I'm going to give it an eight. Um, I think that this is a, I do think that this would be a really fun game at a higher player count. Um, I think this would be a good game for like a convention or a game night where you just kind of want a little bit of a filler game. Um, probably not a end of game night thing to unwind on, but... Um, yeah, you don't want to go to bed angry with your game. <laughs> game but I think it's a good like warm up game, so... Yeah, um, I was kind of thinking the same thing, kind of a split rating, because it, it, it is... It's... For all that it's similar, it is different enough to warrant it. Um, a two player, I'm also going to give it a six because it's still enjoyable, but I wasn't super jazzed to play at that player count again. Like, it's it's fine. I wouldn't like not want to play it. It's better than that super like even average, but um, it wouldn't be the first game I go to if I wanted like a light two player filler game. Mm -hmm. Like there's other things that I think are more designed for that. Whereas this one, again, seems a little bit like, oh, we better figure out a way to make this play playable at two players. At a higher player count, I'm going to give it a seven. I think it'd be a bit more fun. Um, you know, it's it's maybe not. I, I feel like I feel like it's kind of wrong. It's not as deep or thematic as I would like because it is meant to be a light game. But um, I just I, I wish there was mm, just like maybe a tiny bit more in there to like get me feeling more like I was doing what I'm doing, which maybe the gods somehow felt a little different than they are. Again, I know we're, they're trying to keep it at this certain way game <laughs> and I'm ruining it. I'm ruining it. Um, but nonetheless, that is that is how I feel better at at fire player count because even when we played you know too i'd be like oh this would be much more impactful or it would matter in a different or more interesting way at a higher player count than it does at mm -hmm. two um i think it definitely has more going for it at that player count but um yeah uh two players just a little bit less so and there's other things i'd probably pick first so but that's not bad we gave it a uh two sixes a seven and an eight essentially <laughs> Uh, we simulated a four-person uh, review, is what we did. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> but, uh, but yeah, you know, it's uh, it's not. I don't think a super expensive game. Um, I I'm not even sure the difference are between the retail version and the Kickstarter. I don't think there's going to be a lot because there's just not a lot of components. Um, but you know, I'll probably worth trying out. And if nothing else, it's it's definitely worth looking over the amazing art in this game. It's uh, it's stunning. I'll try to. I, I'm sure I put pictures up, but. You know, if you get a chance to grab them in person and drool all over them, make whoever owns those cards really mad at you. 
can do that. So anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can know the next time we put out a video. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all around the table again at All Games New and Old. Bye. Creaky. Everything's creaky. That's your bye. That's my bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're probably right. All right, you made it to the end of another video. If you want to help the channel out, make sure you like it, subscribe, leave a comment if you can. All these things really help. And make sure you tell friends about us because that would also be fantastic. Yeah. If you enjoyed that video, you might like this one. Or this one. We're also on social media. We're on, there's a Facebook group. We're on Twitter slash X and Instagram. Yep. So until next time, we'll see you around the table. Bye. Bye.